Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Football Manager 2018 playthrough with Mechelen at the moment until we get headhunted, which hopefully will be soon. Hopefully we can uh, we can get away. Wait, no, not not hopefully. I, I, I'm forming a bit of a bond with them, but I'd like uh, I'd like an opportunity at a at a, another club, I think, with uh, with more assets to their disposal at their disposal, more money. That kind of thing in a better league, but since I, uh, since we were last here, we had uh, two games, and we're starting to stutter a little bit from the uh, the cup game against Ghent, where we weren't exactly on form. Actually, yeah, from the cup game against Ghent, when we weren't actually on form, we had a game against Charleroi. Charleroi, I Charl Charleroi. I don't know. I don't know. And it wasn't brilliant. Went ahead with a well taken goal actually by uh, Jelson Dalla. Uh, showed good technique to bring this out of the air and kind of sneak it in at the near post. Um, I, was, I was quite impressed. First goal for the club as well. So uh, hopefully there's more to come. Here we are. Pana gets it out to, uh, to Jules. Lumped forward and to just cushion that and get it on target without ballooning it over the bar or into the face of the keeper or that, that took a, that took a decent amount of skill. So well done, uh, Jelson. And then just nothing happened for the rest of the match. So yeah, that was that was that game, and we we just won. And then the game against Circle Bruges, where we were heading for nothingness until a, a, a mad, a mad 30 seconds after the 90 minutes. <clears throat> Jelson Dalla with both the goals. I I don't know, I don't quite know what happened here, but Rossi came on. Gave him about 45 minutes worth uh, in this game. Um, Gustavo was lagging a little bit. I think he was down to about 60% uh, condition. So, <clears throat> brought Rossi on, and I think he had a hand in both goals. I uh, know for certain that he set up the second one. Anyway, Shoes picks it up here to Jules, to Rossi, all the way across field to Angelino, who runs and runs and runs and runs. How long is this highlight? Anyway, Jules into... Uh, yeah, Mavidi just nods it on. Jelson Dalla slots it away. Nice. And then within 30 seconds, straight from the kickoff, straight from the kickoff, Juice picks up to Rossi, to Soto, out to Angelino. I think it comes back in uh, to Rossi, who feeds it first time through a gap. Finds it, Jelson Dalla. That's it. Done. So yeah, that happened. That happened. Uh, again, a, a game that we were knocking, but we weren't really... Nothing was really happening. Uh, these shots on target weren't of any threat. Uh, they were from outside the box. The the other shots, they were just... It was horrific. I don't think we were going to win this all. In fact, I almost thought we might end up conceding a late goal, but we won but it's not been brilliant i mean we've got six points from the uh, the two games but it's i've not been impressed with the performance but we are what's that now yeah we are clear i suppose at the top we have put together a team that's uh, that's capable uh, our def central defense uh, look at tactics our central defense uh, of say like Vitas and Luis Eduardo, that would, it, it'd struggle to get into other teams, other like top six teams. Angelina would walk in and be a key player, um, as would Tom Jack when he's uh, back. Um, and that's where we, a lot of our assists come from, complete win back areas. But where our team excels is kind of this lump here, um, and a little bit here. But yeah, our, our attacking threat, 18 goals. 
18 goals, and he's not exactly been prolific in his last few outings as Mavidi. And 11 from Galan. However, Dala is quickly catching up. So we're going to give uh, Dala the nod here. Um, Lucas has gone out on loan. Let's have a little look. Jewolfs. Do you remember Jewolfs? Our giant of a goalkeeper. He went out on loan as well. Zwolfs. Zwolfs? Zwolfs? There we go. Anthony is Wolves. He's not, he's, he's only 21. He's still got a little bit of potential to come. He's Belgian. And he's a giant. But he's on loan at Manchester United. Now, I offered him out on loan. And a Belgian club came in and wanted him. Like, in the division below. And then Man United wanted him as well. So, well, why does Man United want Schwartz? And it really confused me. So I, I don't know what they, I don't know what they're doing with him. But my, my idea was, or, or the the idea behind accepting Manchester United instead of um, the the Belgian team in the league below that might give him uh, regular game time, is that the Manchester United uh, facilities and coaching staff are state of the art. So he will get game time, not first team game time. He'll probably get under 23 game time, but he'll, he'll still. I reckon this will be uh, this will kickstart his development, and we might see a decent player, a decent goalkeeper, come out of Wolves. He's on for the uh, the rest of the season, so we'll see how it develops. And also, four months. That's wrong. That's wrong because I activated a. Uh, a clause in his contract. So yeah, that's wrong there. It says that four months here, but if we go under twenty one. Yeah. Two years and four months. So it it probably hasn't quite uh, registered with Manchester United, but still. Activated that clause. Just so that if he does develop really, really well, um other teams can't just come in and snaffle him away for for free. Who else? Who else has gone out on loan that is of high regard? Uh, Wilson went out on loan to um, to Upen actually, and he is getting regular game time there. As you can see, he's uh, he's developing well. Miller, this uh, this winger, but we we don't use this position. And I said I was just going to check him in the. Uh, the under 21s and see how we got on um, say that we might even end up releasing him but no Vaslan Beveren came in and they said that they'd uh, play him as a first team player so out he went Lucas at locker run again getting uh, regular first team football instead of having to swap him out for um, Angelino Angelinos one of those uh, he can he can have first team football uh, yeah, and that's it. Who else? Who else? What do you know about him? Yep, not all about that. Phil Povic uh, accepted a uh, contract offer from Port Portimoni. That one. So we're going to end up losing him on a free. Not too concerned. Not too concerned. I expected, or I did expect someone to come in from Guzman and do exactly the same with him, but to no avail. Ivan Decorian, again, one who's gone out on loan with an option for uh, FCSM to buy him at any point for half a million, I believe. Optional future fee of, I don't know why it's 489,000, it should be bang on half a million. It, it was, if he made five appearances, then it would be an automatic 500,000 fee and he would uh, transfer to them. But he apparently he didn't agree to the contract that they were offering him, so it became, the, uh, the future fee became optional. Hopefully he does well and uh, they, they pick him up. Who else? And that is about it. 
Ladies and gentlemen. On 19s. Smith. Yeah, well, I think we already know about him. On loan at Vaslan Beveron. You can see he's getting some good game time there. He's developing nicely. I had... I think it was S F FCP. Came in with uh, an offer for him. Just an outright offer to buy him. Uh, rejected that. Of course. 16 years old. Looks like this. There's a lot to come from this guy. And I didn't even bring him into the club. Our, uh, our centre, our director of football did. Uh, he looks like you're getting a bit of football. Alone in Belgium yet again. Good. Good stuff. So. Let's not submit this team just yet. Let's have a, a little look at what we need to do. Uh, I've noted that Kyle Soto's determination has just jumped up to 10. Let's have a little look at where it came from. So it was at 4, and through tutoring, we've got it to 10. I think it can go a little bit further up. I think it's been tutored by Ritz. No, Gustavo. And Gustavo has a determination of 12, so we can squeeze out of Soto another two. I will be delighted with that. Uh, tries long range passes. He's, he's got an option of picking up tries long range passage. Passage? Tries long range passes and comes deep to get the ball. I won't be, uh, I'll be too displeased if he picks either of them up. He's got the passing skill. He's got the vision. Yeah. It's a big future for Soto. He's kind of, he's on the, uh, the cusp. He either needs to make it and develop well this season and into next. Or I can see him uh, being left behind. So we'll, we'll go with that. Mavidi and Dalla. Mavidi needs to pull his finger right out of his bum because uh, he hasn't scored in a few games now. He's been a bit poor, to be honest, by by his standard. But, uh, you know. No. As we're clear at the top, let's give some people... Drazik, you can have a little go as well. Let's give people game time. And game time from the get-go, the first whistle. Oriel Busquets, can we uh, involve you in there as well? Patrick in for Rossi, maybe. Soto, Pana. What about Ritz? What about Shoes? Do we have someone who is really good in this position? No. Alright, we'll keep uh, we'll keep Panother then. And Galan, we'll put you on. Give these guys a bit of a rest. Vitas on for Luis Eduardo. And that will do. Elias. Let's put you in your complete wing back roll. There we go. So we've got we've got people on the bench that can, that can change the game if we get overrun, but if we're if we're getting ahead in the league, there's no point I said there's no point. There's, there's all the points in uh, in picking up as many points as we can. Makes the, the second stage of the season just that little bit easier, but I'd like to give some players the opportunity to start from the uh, the first whistle. And we'll see how they get on. A little bit of rain. Make things interesting. They've gone with the uh, with a 4-3-3. Now it's a tactic that we employed very briefly, I think for about half a match against Standard in our first season. And then we altered our shape a little. We went 1-0 down, and it was about the 60th minute. And we uh, we ended up altering our shape to to the one we're using now. And we came back in that game 3-1. And then that kind of proved to me that 
that this works. Yeah, we took off all the instructions for our players, changed this uh, formation, and suddenly they decided to play football. You must have been offside yet. Gustavo, ah, oh, come on. He had a big gap in the middle. You can see this guy on the far left is pushed a little bit further forward. Doesn't really have the speed to uh, to be here. Do you not have a quicker striker than that? Pace of 12. Pace of 12, nope. They've just got a really slow attack. Should, uh, should be able to keep up with them. I don't think they're going to be much of a threat on the break. Unless purely by numbers. Drazog picks up the ball, brings it infield to Panna with his distinctive blue boots. And Jules in for Tomchak. Overlaps on, overlaps on the side and gets a good ball in, but it's dealt with. Elias on the overlap. And buys the corner kick. Who's taking this? Soto. Well, he is right-footed. He looks a little bit poor at taking uh, corners, though. Yeah, there's, there's no way that their strikers are going to beat our defenders in a foot race. Gustavo just blasts it into a group of people. I feel sorry for anyone who that hit. Well done, Jill. This might come to something. Gustavo brings it down. Pana back out to Jules, who's uh, cut inside a little bit. And it's dealt with. Jules into Gustavo. First time to Gallon. Couldn't quite take control of it. But it's back in our possession. Gustavo to Soto. And it's punched out. Now, Gustavo has got good intelligence on the ball, and so has Soto. They've both got good vision. So it's a bit like when we had Evander on, what last season when we had Evander and Rossi, kind of, or Evander and Wilson, that would uh, that would play really well together. Wow, I needed a good uh, save. All right, so it was a good build-up play. Just that little layoff to Banner. Why are you no longer getting past the first? Isn't, why are you no longer getting past the first defender? You're not even meant to be aiming for the box. You're meant to be aiming a little deeper. Oh my word! Vitas looked like he was running through treacle then, and the bu and the bar comes to our aid. Pan out to Elias, back into Pana, all the way back out to Jules. Just uh, dragging the, the defence around, creating some gaps. Oh, Galan. That was great. That was really good. Finally, a decent corner, and Cordic saves well. Yeah, pull in there pulling their back line around until we'd found a bit of a gap to slot it through. That was a decent passage of play. Oh well. So we are capable of it. It's just things aren't quite coming off for us. And that goes out for a corner. We have been on top. Both in possession, shots, shots on target. Decent clear-cut chance as well, apparently. It's probably the uh, the gallon effort. They blasted into the keeper. Well, it, it seemed harder to... Seemed easier to score, should I say. Well done, Panna. So, Jules. Into Panna. To Soto. Back to Jules, who tries to get to the line, but he's blocked. Pana will try this instead. Nope. 
Gustavo a little bit of a back heel. Drezek is onside, and I don't know how he does it. I don't. I just. I don't know. He just finds himself in good positions. He still had a lot to do when this came to him. Peels off his defender. He has to turn. Side foot that in between the keeper and the bar. I have, I have no idea. Oh well. 1-0 to the good. I mean, if you look at his stats, if you look at the little polygon thing as well, he doesn't he doesn't look brilliant, but he gets the job done. Oh, Soto got blue boots as well. <gasps> he has. Panna and so well, kind of blue and white. Panna's got like Oh well done. That was that was nice. I had expected their defender to get more on that. Because Gallon seems well Gallon's a little bit diminutive, he's 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 quite tangy. But he just ghosted in front he would see me just ghosted in front of his defender there. Yeah. They should have done a lot, a lot better with that. Decent delivery from Jules. Callan still had a lot to do, but did it well. And just like that, within half an hour, two nils are good. What's saying? Oh no. It's the same it's the same pattern on both the boots. It's just that the pan is massive and he's got giant feet. Stats are looking alright. Plus this is a decent run out for some of the fringe players. Soto couldn't quite get that bit into Drazic, but uh gets the return ball. Picks this up and yeah. is this really gonna be oh. That was unrealistic. They were just stood around like statues. That would that wouldn't that wouldn't happen. So this one here, and Soto's left just stood there, and then he, no. That's poor match engine. That that shouldn't that probably shouldn't have been a goal. There wouldn't have been that much time inside the uh, the penalty box inside the six yard box even but we'll carry on Galan picks this up after some decent pressuring and that's where the uh, the highlight ends Ellis picks it out wide first time to Gustavo crossfield ball to Jules and Galan nearly judo kicks it into the net nearly just needs a little bit more luck there This looks interesting. Good job Busquets was there to uh, clear that off the line. What were you doing there? Panna, what was that? Could you not have booted it out for a throw instead of a... Oh my word. Instead of a corner. Maybe not. Maybe he has taken the 30 pieces of silver. I don't know. And it looks like... My defensive set pieces routine has been not altered because we're meant to have two attackers up front so that we can break quickly. It looks like it reverted back to one. It would also explain why our corners are suddenly rubbish. Maybe there's been an update. You know that side there? Yep. What also baffles me is the fact that We've never won Manager of the Month. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. And that, I don't know what, why why that is. They're yeah, very happy. I don't know. Never even been in contention for it. Never even been in contention for Manager of the Year. And I would have, oh, nearly, I would have expected that last year or last season 
we would have been full runners for manager of the year because I don't take any holidays and even if you do if even if you holiday your way through these games and, and cheat then uh, your assistant manager ends up as uh, up for manager of the month and sometimes claims manager of the year so that might be a little bit broken unless that probably deserved a goal actually well done by Valkyrie but he got a good amount of power onto that unless it's something to do with our coaching license and uh, maybe we're not eligible for management awards I don't know I, I can't can't imagine why not though I don't know I'll have to have a look into that Gustavo up to Galan Galan back to Soto to Gustavo to Elias who should have probably tried being his man Banner back out to Elias he's gonna have another go I mean he delivers it into the right areas just no one was on there Soto can you get the ball where it's meant to be this time well yeah but I would like I would have liked a ball that was a little bit higher than that let's have a look at what we can change I'm going to alter this a little bit we're going to bring it on now oh, we don't have Rossi do we Gustavo's feeling a little bit yeah oh, we can use Ritz Ritz um, Mavidi and we'll bring on Jelson Dalla as well just to terrify them a little bit more and they've changed the formation they've gone to a defensive midfielder as well so it looks like the, fourth, the outright 4-3-3 was as crap for them as it was for us yeah what's, what's more terrifying than uh, being 3-0 down and suddenly them bringing a whole new strike force on with fresh legs for the last 20 minutes I wonder if Soto can no oh, Soto can't operate in that uh, advanced midfield role can he no okay Jotham Dahl out wide it did really well with that actually got himself into a bit of a cul-de-sac there but found a way out with a little hop and a skip and a jump Jules has been good Elias has been good for this tactic to work I still need to find a way of being able to mark that guy uh, for this tactic to work you need brilliant wing backs brilliant yeah easy easy stuff in my video that take them all day long it's a weird celebration that he does but oh well um, yeah uh, you want if you have a transfer budget then spend it on your complete wing backs because uh, without their input then, then this tactic doesn't work and then if you've got any money spare bring in a really good uh, attacking midfielder it's a it's a linchpin of attacks especially if they come through the middle it either goes to the attacking midfielder and he sprays it out to the complete wing backs or he'll feed through um, our attackers we had Vander last year who arguably was the best player in the entire league with the amount of awards that he picked up this year we've got Gustavo who is almost as good um, not quite as quick and strong as Evander used to be he doesn't get himself into the box and try and lash in home goals himself it's a little bit more stable he, uh, he, he takes the ball and carves out opportunities for other people Pirates Elias, I don't know what Elias was doing there 
And yeah, they're starting to get a little bit frustrated. Don't blame them. And that is a penalty. And Ritz, Ritz is the penalty taker. I think he is the best at them as well. Oh, Jolson Dahl will be as good. Can I get you to take it? I've done this before where I've changed the player, confirmed it, and it's just, it's still stayed as Ritz. I did change the player there. Change. Shelton Dollar. Change a penalty taker for this penalty. Yes. Confirm. And that's that's what I did. But it just it doesn't change. That needs to be looked at. I mean it's it's my own fault for not setting it um setting up in the, the tactics screen, but I still would like if it, if you've got the option there, I'd like it to at least work. I'd like a feature to work. And that as a feature certainly does not work so that should be a 5 now. surprised with Antwerp actually they were a force to be reckoned with last season I don't know what's what's happened with them I don't know whether we have just got better or whether they have got, got worse we were assigned some good people Uh, can't I play? Uh, we've signed some good people, um, some good youth that have developed probably a little bit further than the, the club is. A bit like like Gooseman, who wants to to operate on a bigger stage. There's there's a lot of these youngsters that we're going to struggle to hold on to. The likes of uh, well Gustavo to lose. I'd already made an offer for him. Mavidi, we're going to struggle. Hold on, on to him as well. I can see Soto wanting away sometime soon. Same with there. Uh, with Patrick actually. Anyway. And Angelino. There'll be a Spanish club. A Spanish first team club that come in for Angelino. And we're not going to be able to uh, to match their offer. We're not, not going to be able to uh, turn them away. Very happy with the result and the way they played. End that. Leave the match. And that is... Us. Nine points clear at the top. And that wasn't even our strongest team. We played a few of the children there. It did well. And I've also turned on uh, match the reports from some of our better loan players. Players that are out on loan. Uh, Wilson, Lucas. Um, Smets, Smets is it? The uh, the striker. But yeah, looks like he's doing all right. And a Belgian club, of course. We're just trying to get him all the Belgianness. George Gallan, thirty-year-old striker, two goals, did well. He was superb. He was. Brought him in when he was twenty-nine. He was on a free. I think I've said this before, I probably have said this a few times before now, but saw this polygon and I was like, no, say no more fam, you coming in. But ladies and gentlemen, that will be it until our next game, which our very next game, which is uh, our cup game against Ghent. We need to win this game. A draw will not be enough. Uh, we've already drawn the away fixture. Which means if they score a goal, we need to score two. If they score two goals, we have to score three. It, that's just the way it is. Um, and that will be in the light of snow and minus two degrees on the 6th of February. Are we playing? Yeah. Okay, well, bit of green as always. You'll have been amazing. Join me next time for Belgian Cup semi-final leg two. Until then, as I did say that we were... We were struggling a bit, we were stuttering a bit in these games. But uh, yeah, we found our form a little bit against Antwerp then. It was pleasing to see, especially again, especially ahead of our home game against Ghent. Until next time, do take care.